we now know the two teams are going to be in the Super Bowl. And without a doubt, right now, they're the two best teams in the National Football League. Let's reflect back, though, on the two games that led up to the Super Bowl. First of all, let's look at Kansas City's win over the Tennessee Titans. After dropping behind 17-7, they made another tremendous comeback. Similar to the one against Texas where they were down 24 nothing, found a way to win. But what impressed me about the game was the defense put on by Kansas City. When you look at the great running game, they held the outstanding King Henry to 67 yards. In addition to that, two of the touchdown drives were kept alive by defensive penalties, three times offside, one for pass interference, and then, of course, they loved the fake punt. Other than that, I thought the defense did outstanding as they have for the last seven or eight weeks of play. Patrick Mahomes, outstanding. Kansas City has so many great receivers. You look at Watson, uh, Watkins, you look at Hill, you look at Kills, the tight end. So I was very impressed, but Patrick Mahomes is very, very special. Right now, it would be hard to find anybody who's more valuable to their team than he is to Kansas City. So congratulations to Kansas City, and Andrew, the coach, is headed to the Super Bowl for the first time in 2005. He's the seventh all-time winningest coach, but he's never won the Super Bowl. He's only been there one time, and of course they lost that when he was with the Philadelphia Eagles. Now let's get to the 49ers. They have been so impressive this entire year. They've never been involved in a blowout unless they were beating the other team quite decisively. They're always in the game. They run the ball exceptionally well. Because they run the ball so well, don't think for one minute that they aren't also capable of passing the ball. Indeed, Samuels and uh, uh, Sanders and Samuels, they have two outstanding receivers and their tight end. It's probably the best blocking tight end. Jimmy Garoppolo is an outstanding quarterback, but they haven't had to throw the football, but their defense has been absolutely outstanding. They've had nine sacks in two games. However, Kansas City's had eight sacks in two games, but their defensive line is just absolutely overwhelming. But when I look back at the game, Aaron Rodgers had a very poor game. He had four turnovers, two fumbles, two interceptions, although the last interception occurred on a desperation heave. But Kansas City, uh, Green Bay just was not very physical in that football game on any phase. I mean, the line of scrimmage would move back five yards every time San Francisco snapped the ball. But when I look at toughness, the quarterback determines your toughness. Oh, I'm not talking about making tackles and crunching blocks, but I'm talking about you show toughness. And the one play that convinced me that Green Bay was not going to be very competitive in that game was when Aaron Rodgers fumbled a snap from center. Haven't been a coach for so many years. Anytime you fumble a snap from center, the quarterback realized immediately the ball snapped before, fumbled before anybody else and he should recover it. Aaron Rodgers never even made an effort to go after the football. I can promise you, that's very, very demoralizing to your football team. So there was real no toughness on Green Bay the entire game. But once again, we're going to have a great Super Bowl. I don't wish to criticize Aaron Rodgers. He obviously is a very tough competitor and a tough individual. He's had a great career. But that one play sends a message to your entire football team. Looking forward to talking about this game next week. It's going to be exciting. I hope to see you then.